Hey, what's up guys? It's Tyrese here. And today I'm going to show you how to make a basic Zapier AI action bot with custom GPT in under 10 minutes. So first things first, you're going to need to go to this link here, which will be in the description below. And you want to go ahead and copy this link. You want to go back to your GPT builder, hit configure, add actions, and then import from URL, paste the URL in there and click import. You get a whole bunch of text, don't need to know what this means, and then you are good to go here. We've got the post and the get link already here. So great, this will allow us to um, identify different actions within Zapier, and this will enable us to actually run those actions as well. So next step is, so the next step is to create a prompt. So if we go back to the documentation here, You'll see it is all very, very confusing. It's a lot of text, but all you need to know, all you need to do, sorry, is just copy up to here, up to action there, and then simply just paste that in here. And then, yeah, that's step two done. So guys, and then you want to go here to actions.zapier.com, GPT actions. I'll have a link here in the description as well. As you can see, I've got a few set up already. Uh, we're just going to be replicating this one, the send holiday request one. So this is for when you want to send a vacation request or holiday request as is here in the UK to your manager on email. So we're going to do Gmail. And this is just like when you're creating a normal zap in normal Zapier. You're going to use your email address, of course, and then to, uh, I want to set a specific field and send it to myself. This is just an example. Then you want to hit show all actions, subject and body. You leave for the AI to fill out. That's what GPT will do for you. Um, from name, I want to just have it set from Tyrese. Da -da -da, body type, signature, all the same. And then really important here, action name. This is what GPT will use to identify and actually run your specific action. So I'm just going to name that send holiday request and require preview before running AI action. I'm gonna turn that on just to ensure that I'm happy with the email it's about to send and I don't get fired for, you know, AI sending some random shit for me. So yeah, cool. Um, we'll just enable this action and then you'll see it here along your list of all the other actions you have. So cool. And then you wanna go back to your GPT builder. You wanna copy this name of, whoops, you know, copy the name of your action, paste it in there. And then you want to grab this available action ID. And this is going to be the unique link when you click on your uh, zap here. So it's here, it always begins with a zero one. And just want to grab this, copy this and paste that there as well. Or put a colon there instead probably. Then you simply just want to add some then you simply just want to add context to the prompt. So you just say this GPT's use case is to be a helpful Zapier AI task assistant. And then that is literally it guys. So it's ensure you have at the bottom, the name of your action, the available action ID, which again, is just at the back end of your URL. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we just hit enter and we'll see how it runs. Let's test it out. You just want to click run task, send holiday request or whatever your task is called. It's going to talk to Zapier. So then it'll say it needs this, these details from you, but I'm going to say, I want you to come up with the subject line and the body as you know it is chat gpt of course and it writes it in code for some reason yeah i don't really get why it does that sometimes just say it always respond to me in plain text never use code so we're just going to get that again but in plain text this time there we go and yeah, as you can see we've got a nice comprehensive email request message and please send this. Obviously you would fill out your name and your position and your signature and whatnot, but obviously you can set up 
through this um, SAP here. Well, this is just an example, just showing you guys how to actually make it work. So then you're just gonna click allow here again, and then it will just give us another Zapier link to just review this. Yeah, so it just gives us a nice link for Zapier to just confirm this once we're happy with it. And here's where you can edit the email. So you can then go and add, hey, manager name. So the manager name, just put Bob. And then all regards, you know, Tyrese. AI, AI guy. Yeah, save and then run. And then it's just going to send the email to you straight away. So I'll see you guys on the Gmail. And then boom, here we go. From Tyrese to me, the above purpose message finds you well. And as you can see, we've got all the information here. He'd obviously change the start date and whatnot and colleague name, everything in the brackets. You change all these variables. But yeah, as you can see, that is all done through ChatGPT. And now anytime I want to send off a holiday request, I can literally just ask ChatGPT to do so for me. So, so if you found this video useful, leave a like down below. If you have any questions or get stuck anywhere, leave a comment, I'm more than happy to help. And also subscribe for more AI and entrepreneurship content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.